Hello everybody. So today we're going to talk a little bit about self-assessment and what self-assessment is. Self-assessment is an interesting phenomenon. It's something that I think happens more in this generation than previous generations. For those that may be in the 50s, 60s, and 70 years old, they didn't do much self-assessment. In fact, what they did often is how they were raised. They were raised to do their job and to enjoy their job, to provide for their family, to give back a little bit, but really to accept much of what happened in your life, to not think too much about it. A good example is if you ask somebody who's older, maybe a grandparent, and say, what's the meaning of life? I don't know if you'd get the same answer than if you ask somebody uh, who's a contemporary of yours, if you're in your 20s or even 30s. There's much more of a searching aspect for those people who are younger than there is for those who are older. In fact, if you have the benefit of talking to somebody who's 80 or 90 years old, you may hear them say, well, you know, you just get up and you just do your work and then you go home and you take care of your family and you try to do some good in the community. It's very simple is the way that I want to get across. It's a very simple life and existence. Not much extraneous like, well, I was never happy or I wish I would have done this or I don't feel like I've accomplished enough. Those are questions that at least in the later generations tend to spend more time on. The first question is, why do they do that? Part of it is because when you have, when many of the staples in life, food, health, uh, room and board, are taken care of in your life, then you have more time to think of other things that would make you happy. And that occurs because we have Medicare, we have Obamacare, we have Social Security, even welfare, some of the basics that if you can't take care of yourself, there's a government, there's a people that can take care of you. And those, some of those are, are great things and that it allows you to think of other aspects. Now more than ever, the average person gets more money from the government than 30 and 40 years ago. That frees up your mind and your time to think of other things. So there's some good aspects to it. So it's our, our history which is different today than, of course, it was 40 and 50 years ago. So it allows you to think of where you want to be. And before you can figure out where you want to be, you have to figure out where you are. So a self-assessment, self-actualization starts with where are you today? Where do you want to go? And the last part is how do you get there? And so the first part of any self-assessment is where are and where do you want to go? Those are the first two aspects that you really need to consider. Are you at the place that you want to be at this point in your life? For those people who have a midlife crisis, for men it's a little later in life, women it's a little earlier in life, women usually in the 30s, men more so in the 40s, you tend to look at your life and say, wow, I thought I would have accomplished more than what I've accomplished thus far. That's what we mean by where are you, where do you want to go? You start to figure out at 30s or 40s that your life is becoming established and you start to reflect and say, is this the life that I want to lead? Is this the life that I want to continue to follow? Is this the path I want to follow for the next 30, 40, 50 years, hopefully? You have that much time and more. But you want to say, is this where I want to continue on that path? And those are the big decisions to make. But a self-assessment, if you were to start earlier, say in your late teens or 20s, then you can say, well, this is where I see myself in 30 or 40 years. This is where I hope to be at. So I'm going to start today to try to move along that path because that will make me happy. And that's the importance of self-evaluation, self-actualization, self-assurance is where do I want to be? And I'm going to start trying now to be there. So it's a fascinating journey. I look forward to continuing that with you. Take care, everybody.